scientists just dug up a rare 2,500-pound skull of the most terrifying dinosaur ever to walk the Earth. It's the last day of a seven-day stint working on the Hell Creek Project, and participants Jason Love and Luke Tufts are not professional archaeologists. In fact, they're just volunteers, and their part in this mission to explore the region's prehistoric past has come about purely as the result of their amateur enthusiasm. However, they're about to make a discovery that will make them the envy of paleontologists the world over. Hell Creek is regarded as something of a mecca in paleontological circles. Located near Jordan, Montana, it's part of a larger rock formation that formed some 65 and a half million years ago and spans parts of the eastern Montana Badlands running into Wyoming and North and South Dakota. This massive rock is named the Hell Creek Formation. In the Cretaceous period, this area of North America would have been warm and wet, a coastal area bordered by shallow seas. And it was as these seas rolled back that the layers of sediment built up, eventually forming the massive rock that we can see today. The fossils found there, moreover, suggest that the area was once teeming with life. Yes, the remains of plants, fish, invertebrates, and even sharks have been unearthed here over the years. But there's one type of creature that lived here millions of years ago that keeps scientists coming back to the Hell Creek Formation. Dinosaurs. Indeed, it's famous for being the place where the most complete skeleton of a hadrosaurid ever to be unearthed was found. These duck-billed dinosaurs were placid herbivores and lived in herds. However, there was another, much more fearsome dinosaur that stalked these parts when the land was covered with woods, rivers, and valleys. That's not necessarily what the Hell Creek Project set out to find when it came to study the area in 2015, though. The team's volunteers and academics from the Burke Museum at the University of Washington went in with the intention of studying the fossilized flora and fauna here, as well as the geography of the formation in the last two million years of the age of the dinosaurs. However, it was on their last day at the site that Tufts and Love noticed some unusual bones protruding from the surface. Sensing that they were on the cusp of an exciting discovery, they quickly asked for advice from paleontologist Gregory Wilson. Wilson brought in a workforce of 35, who began carefully unearthing the remains of the creature that Tufts and Love had discovered. And over the course of a year's hard work, they were able to confirm what the two men had suspected. It looked just how we'd been told that bones from a big predatory dinosaur like a T-Rex looks, Love told the Seattle Times. And indeed, he was right. The pair had discovered the skeleton of one of the most fearsome dinosaurs to ever walk the Earth. As the team continued to work, they began to uncover more and more of the mighty predator. Vertebrae, ribs, and hips were painstakingly recovered from the sedimentary rock. But the reason why the find was so significant was down to one specific body part the creature's skull. Weighing in at a hefty 2,500 pounds, the hulking skull was four feet long. Crucially, however, it was also largely complete, placing this find among only 15 other similarly intact Tyrannosaurus rex skulls ever to be found. So far, around 20% of the specimen's skeleton has been recovered, but the paleontologists aren't done yet. We're going to go back again next year to find the rest, Wilson declared to the Seattle Times. He believes that the rest of the beast is still waiting under the hill, and he is, understandably, eager to continue the search. The skull, which was coated in a mass of plaster and still embedded in some sedimentary rock, was temporarily exhibited in the lobby of the Burke Museum in late August 2016. Meanwhile, the delicate procedure of removing the skull from the rock would begin two months later. Once this is complete, paleontologists will be able to determine previously unknown facts about the T-Rex's existence, such as its dietary processes and, perhaps more interestingly, the power of that fearsome carnivore's jaws. However, even in its entombed state, researchers have been able to glean some information from the remains. Firstly, they believe that the imposing dinosaur was around 15 years old when it died. This is young for a Tyrannosaurus, which generally survived to the age of 25 or 30. Its cause of death, however, is yet to be determined. Secondly, the researchers estimate that it was around 40 feet long and 20 feet tall, making it around 85% of the size of the largest T-Rex ever found. To put this in perspective, the Tyrannosaurus discovered by Tufts and Love would have been a similar height to a modern-day bus and equal in length. Furthermore, paleontologists surmise that the Tufts Love Rex, as it is now known, died around 66 million years ago 
toward the end of the Cretaceous period. This theory is based on the fact that the skull was discovered at the bottom of a hill. Sitting above it, the rock at the top of the hill dates from the era that saw the annihilation of the dinosaurs, which occurred around 300,000 years after the Tuft Slav Rex died. In its prime, animals like the Tuft Slav Rex would have preyed on other dinosaurs such as the Triceratops. They used their serrated teeth to crush the bones of their prey, which have been discovered in fossilized waste many millions of years later. What's more, the Hell Creek Formation is a particularly fertile area for discoveries of T-Rex remains. So far, 11 have been unearthed there, the highest rate of discoveries in one place in the world. Plus, in 2010, another T-Rex skeleton was found in Montana. This possessed another one of the most complete T-Rex skulls ever to be found. Nicknamed Tristan, it's now on display in Berlin. Meanwhile, the Burke Museum is planning to exhibit the partially excavated Tufts Love skull by March 2017 with a view to having the complete skeleton on show by 2019 when the museum moves to a new building. When that happens, it's likely to look nothing short of mind-blowing, and perhaps more of the fearsome predators will be exhumed from Hell Creek in the meantime. Please share this video with your friends below.